Good morning guys. Steve here from Blossom Racing. I'm gonna do a quick video for you on how to put the crank gear onto a crank. So we're gonna grab a crank. And the very first thing that I'm gonna do on the crank is look at this key to make sure that the tip of the key is not aiming up at all. Cause if it aims up, it'll grab a hold of the gear. So I just tap on it just a little bit to get it uh, aiming down so that when the gear goes on, it'll slide right on. Uh, here we have a 28 tooth gear. Uh, if you look at this gear, we put uh, etching on the outside of it, uh, the name, how many teeth, and your mark. Uh, so how to make sure that you put this on the right way on this side, there is a big bevel right here on the inside, and on this side, there is not. So all the wording you want facing out away from the crank, uh, the bevel you want to go up against the crank, which is where the bevel is on the crank. So uh, basically, I'm just gonna set this gear right here on my vise. I gotta sneak over here real quick and grab my torch and a glove. So we're just going to grab the little hand torch right here and fire it up and start the heating. So uh, this takes a few minutes. We're going to go through di three different color changes on this gear. It'll go from this color to a little bit darker silver, then to a purplish color, and then back to a bright silver. And when it gets back to that silver, that's when you will want to put it on the crank. So meantime, real quick, there's two guys walking down this old country dirt road and uh, they look out into this field and they see an old, old well out there, like a little wishing well. So the guys go walking out to the wishing well. They find a couple rocks laying around and they're just curious to how deep it is. So they take rocks and they're throwing it into the well and they're sitting there listening, putting their ear down to the well, and they're not hearing the bottom. They're like, holy cow, how deep is this? <coughs> well, they're like, well, let's find something bigger. So they find a bigger rock. They throw it in, and they're sitting there listening and don't hear nothing. All of a sudden, one of the guys looks over and he sees a, a freaking F3, a 350 transmission laying in the freaking weeds. He's like, hey dude, look at this. And they're like, sweet. So they grab a hold of the transmission, pick it up, throw it into the freaking well, and they're sitting there listening. And all of a sudden they hear this noise behind them, like something running at them. They both turn around and look, and here's this goat just on a dead sprint right at these guys, just running like crazy. The goat freaking jumps way up into the air, and boom, goes right down into the well. The two guys are sitting there listening, still didn't hear it hit the bottom of the well. They're looking at each other going, holy crap, what was that? What did that goat do that for? A couple minutes later, old farmer <coughs> comes driving down the road on his tractor and he sees these two guys out by his well. So he pulls out there and He's like, hey guys, what's going on? Two guys go, well, you know, we just saw this well and threw some rocks in it, but you are not going to believe what just happened. He's like, yeah, what's that? He's like, man, this billy goat just took off running right at us, jumped straight up into the air and right down into the well. Farmer kind of grabs his overalls, scratches his head, and goes, Man, that's kind of funny. I don't know how he could have done that. I had that billy goat tied to that transmission right over there. And with that, we are uh, got the three color changes. We're back to the normal color. Uh, it went to the dark purple. And uh, so it's ready to go on now. I just grab my gloves, grab my crank, make sure you go in the right way 
um, going in with the bevel towards the crank. Grab it, and then I'm gonna grab the gear like this, and I'm gonna twist it, and as you see, it fell all the way down, okay? But, even though it fell all the way down, I am gonna take my little tool here, put it on there, give it a little tap, and then I'm just gonna lean it up against the motor like this with the gear up so that the, the normal gravity will just keep that gear down against that shoulder. So, hope you enjoyed the joke, and uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, that's how you put a crank gear on a crank. Thanks guys. Have a great day.